Shamai, my name is Jamie and I'm a dietitian at Cardiff and Vale University Health Board. It's not unusual when you're unwell or recovering from illness to have problems with your appetite or for your body to need extra nutrients such as calories and protein. You may have lost weight, feel weaker or be less able to do the things that matter to you. If you can increase your intake of the right food and drinks, it's possible to prevent or reverse unplanned weight loss, increase strength and support you in keeping you well. People often find that there is a limit to how much they're able to eat, but by enriching and fortifying your food, it's possible to get extra nourishment in small portions that suit you until your appetite is back to normal or you have reached your goal. The information in this short video is aimed at helping you to help yourself. However, if you find that these suggestions are not enough to help you meet your goals, ask your healthcare team for a referral to a dietitian who can give you personalised advice. These are some of the main foods we'd use to fortify our food. Milk and milk powder, cheese, butter, fats or oils, cream and sugar, honey and syrups. I'm going to demonstrate how you can use these foods to add the extra nutrients that your body needs. Plus, these added extras will often make your meals taste even better than before. Let's start with fortified milk. We can fortify regular milk by adding milk powder. Take a pint of full cream milk. We add four tablespoons of powder and mix in the milk. You may want to mix a little bit of milk with the powder first to make a paste, then mix in the rest of the milk. It should dissolve easily. This pint of milk now has 600 calories and 40 grams of protein, almost double the calories and protein it had before. Once you've fortified your milk, every time you use it through the day, you're giving yourself a boost of nourishment. Fortifying your meals with cheese will add extra calories and protein. You could use grated hard cheese, bags of pre-grated cheese to make it easier, or a cream cheese. An amount of cheese the size of a small matchbox has 125 calories and 8 grams of protein. Add some grated cheese to pasta dishes. You could even toss the pasta through some butter or oil first before you add the sauce for extra enrichment. Use plain or flavoured cream cheese in mashed potato or add some grated cheese to a simple nutritious meal like baked beans on toast. An easy way to enrich vegetables, casseroles, dals or salads is to use extra butter, ghee and oils. One teaspoon of a solid fat or oil has almost 50 calories. You can melt butter onto vegetables and potatoes or drizzle oil over pasta, rice and salads. If you are making mashed potato, you could add some butter and even fortified milk or a splash of cream. Cream is very high in calories. Just a tablespoon adds an extra 75 calories to your meal. With meals such as casseroles, pastas, rice and curries, think about making more creamy sauces using fortified milk, cream or coconut milk. You could also add cream directly to food as a swirl in a bowl of soup, a dollop on a scone with jam, or use some squirty cream to make a luxurious hot chocolate. Or perhaps you have a sweet tooth. If so, these next ideas might really suit you. Add a little sweetness to your breakfast cereal or porridge by sprinkling over brown or white sugar. Drizzle some runny honey over your favourite fruit topped with creamy yoghurt for a delicious breakfast, snack or dessert. Add a spoonful of jam in a milky pudding for an extra tasty addition of calories. You should also include some meat, fish, eggs, lentils or pulses with each meal. This will ensure you have more protein to help regain your strength. If these ideas haven't tempted you, there is a link for further information to get more ideas on fortifying and enriching your meals at the end of this video. And if you're in any doubt about the impact these kind of changes can have to your intake, have a look at this menu example. The column on the left shows a menu example before fortifying the choices. Notice the extras added in through the day to the menu example on the right and how this affects the total amount of nutrients at the bottom. 
If you've been struggling with your appetite, these small changes can really make a difference, giving your body the nourishment it needs and keeping you well. However, if after making changes, you are still losing weight, feeling weak or struggling to meet your goals, you should seek a referral to a dietitian from your healthcare team. Goodbye, Hoyle.